Welcome, welcome VC, and I'm here to show off my Beatles collection. It took me a year to do it, but I got. Uh, this these will be in order, and I live in the U.S. And the first, I don't know, seven albums are the U.K. Listing. Not the original UK, they are this 1970s pressing, but still impressive. And the first one is Please Please Me. Which um, is off of Pearl Phone. Sorry. As many of you know, Please Please Me is also introducing the Beatles, which this is a generally mono copy, which is, they haven't um, counterfeit this one too much. It's in rough shape, but it is BJ Records. Next one is with the Beatles. Again, Paramo Paulo Phone, whatever how you want to pronounce it. And this was not the UK. But it's Russian, from Russia. Hard Day's Night. It has the Russian label on it. Red. In Russia, the language, the label means Melanie. The information I found about it is during the UK during the USSR reign um, I guess that was the only label you could have don't understand fully what about it and help again this is the UK help cover and the UK telephone with a UK listing of the album. This one got me started on buying the UK pressings. It's Beatles for sale. Found this one actually at my local um, record store. Paramount. Powerphone. And most of these I um, order off eBay or Discogs. Rubber sole, and right here is the logo. It's not the Capitol. Chopped up Capitol record, which is why I won't buy it. Capitol. This is the original UK listing, and yes, it does have the Deleted songs that they put on yesterday and today album. Um, like if I need somebody, or someone by George Harrison. This one is not from UK. It's actually a 
a French pressing from Odin, but it still had the UK listing on it. It's the Revolver album, not the Chopped Up Capital record, and only difference between this one and the original UK pressing is Taxman has been taken um, was sliced down a couple seconds on this pressing Taxman doesn't have that one two three and coughing like you were here on Capitol and the uh, UK pressing These others are the capital pressing. Um, from here on out, they are Americans. I got this is Sgt. Pepper's, one of my top number one favorite album by the band. The Capital Rainbow album, Rainbow. Sadly. Is not mono. I would love to get the mono version of this. And I also got the Apple label of the same album. And when I bought it, it never been played. And this is a 1971 pressing. I played it two times. And Magical Mystery Tour. And it is the inner sleeve, the original pressing, rainbow, capital rainbow pressing. And it has book that's slowly falling apart for some reason this one I got off uh, eBay oh, which by the way I forgot to mention this Sergeant Peppers still got the shrink on it original cutouts <coughs> which is pretty awesome next one is the white album my second favorite album by the band sergeant preppers is my number one and the white album is number two and i own two copies of this and yes, I got got everything that the original Ray album comes with, except for the poster. Still looking for the poster. I think I, I'm pretty sure I posted this on one of my channels. One of my uploads videos. And this one I just recently got. I was very lucky. I almost then went to the record store, but at the last moment I decided to go. And it took me a long time to get this one. The Beatles Yellow Submarine. And yes, it is the original pressing that has the Apple label. Whoever owned this thought this was pretty neat. A nice little cutout. And now we're up 
to Abbey Road. Original 1969 pressing with the Apple label. And let it be. The original gatefold and red apple and it has the gatefold um, you can see the spine is actually pretty good but there is a lot of wear and tear on the cover but overall still pretty good now this one the original UK pressing of let it be is in a box set it has a nice book to it for some reason when it got over to America they did capital decided not to release it as a box set but then again it's very hard to find that box set and if you do find it it's really pricey like 500 bucks The original 1987 pressing of the Past Masters with the purple capital label. And basically, what it is, is it is Past Master Volume 1 and 2, and it's all the 45s and EPs from the Beatles as they release and of course can't forget the red and blue albums which it's just nice to have the greatest hits all in one little package I mean I own every single song anyway so it doesn't really matter now we're up to the single, I mean the solo, George Harrison, I found this at a yard sale for a buck, and it's really nice shape. Can't get it all here, he's stubborn right now. Not a scratch on her. And I found this at a second-hand store, Paul McCarthy, Band on the Run, with his band, um, Wings, and it's a custom Apple label. more Paul McCartney record this is his later stuff his pipe of peace right. yeah this is actually a two label one got his custom chair label then on the other side got the Columbia label which is also a custom label which seems kind of interesting and I have a few 45s now I'm not talking about the past masters but the actual 45s like hey Jude and stuff like that but I seem to have misplaced those um also got one cassette tape by the Beatles, which also seems to be lost among all this mess. Okay. And that's my beloved Beatles collection. And thank you for watching, and have a new, happy new year.